Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Jax game, and as you can see, we are playing 3 versus 3 on Twisted Tree Line. So Jax is going to go with Pantheon and Zinzao, three excellent champions on this map. So two heals, one ignites on this team. Three heals, two ignites on the enemy team, which is um, a pretty good deal of heal. <laughs> Oh man, that is going to get uh, be hard to get through. So we will have to see who goes where. Apparently there is no uh, spectator mode on. Nope, and that was indeed, indeed correct. He noticed that in his email while sending apparently. And um, hopefully the next games uh, well, will be with spectator mode. In case you still don't know, spectator mode is... Um, kind of the spectator mode edition of um, the replays. You can turn it on by going to your LOL replay software and opening the options which is top right, the little gear icon it says options. Well, you wouldn't say, right? So that's uh, one ignite down and Jax, dude, get out! Wow, playing with fire there. But that was really risky. Xin Zhao going in and um, yeah, nothing is going to happen. Everyone can just recall here. Anyhow, uh, if you go to the options, and then um, there's in the bottom part, there's a checkbox that says something with spectator in it. Something like spectator mode replays or something like that. Uh, you'll be able to uh, to see it when you once you open it. And please turn that on and then uh, the first game you play with it, please check whether it actually works. Um, you might want to turn off Steam while playing League of Legends because it's uh, bugs sometimes. I'm pretty sure they will solve that at some point. Jax is uh, in top lane while these three uh, uh, enemy champions were in bot lane still. And I think they're still here, yeah. They are going to draw the first blood. So they were still here, all three of them, and Jax is just going to... Uh, to take this top lane minions and he didn't really push, he could have pushed quite heavily here because once someone is down, oh nice gets the easy kill there, that was a free kill right there and um, yeah, he's going to just uh, uh, own this Darius because he's one level up and Darius has only one skill to do the damage with and he is going to be able to push out this Darius forever and ever and ever. Darius starting off with uh, one health potion and that is already gone. While our uh, Jax is smart and he started boosting three health potions. So he can... Come on. Health. Health potion. Come on. Oh, he already has it on. So yeah, just keep engaging, keep engaging, keep engaging. You can sustain, he cannot... And he is now level 2, Jax is level 3, so Jax is a full level over the Darius. No, you need to keep engaging, you have more sustain, he has no sustain. So, yeah, level 3 now for Darius as well. Come on, Jax, you can do this. Pop a health potion. Yeah, the only thing you, the only time you need to back off is if the minions are too numerous. So if there are like six minions hammering on you, yeah, you need to back off because that is painful. And yeah, that's when you need to back off, obviously. Oh, is this going to work? Yes, it is going to work, but he is going to kill, uh, get killed as well. But yeah, well, it's a one for one trade. It wasn't really the smartest of ideas, but. Yeah, well, <laughs> whatever, right? It is 3 versus 3. It doesn't matter what you do in the early game. Even if your tank kills behind, you can still uh, come back. There's still a decent chance of winning. It's all about getting that last team fight. So, one ace in the late game for whatever team, whether you're ahead or behind, as long as you don't uh, lose inhibitors, it's all good. But yeah, if you get an ace, then you can easily take out two turrets and an inhibitor. And by that time, you should be able to win the game. Assuming that the enemy, as I said, doesn't have an inhibitor on you. 
So wow, they're going to get two kills here. And nicely done. Obviously, uh, Fiddlesticks is a horrible champion on this map. Uh, he can jungle pretty well, but he doesn't have anywhere to hide behind, so he can't farm up. And he has nine minions and one kill. That's probably his maximum. <laughs> 17 minions for Zinzao. And uh, Jax, although he has been top all game, only has nine minions. He does have two kills, so that's pretty good. Zinzao also two kills. But Jax needs to push this lane when he sees that there's no one there. Because you need to force people to the top lane. And then once they come, you need to back off, of course. You need to just run into the... Uh, so, as you can see, three champions bottom lane, so even if, you, even if you're not watching that bottom lane on your minimap, or you, you're not watching whether uh, all champions are there, you can see that from the kills. If there are two assists on a kill, then there are three champions in the bottom lane. And, yeah, come on, just push the lane. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's thinking too much in 5 versus 5 style. You need to just make sure that they can't farm and then you gank. So finally the minion wave does push into the turret. And yeah that could have been obviously like half a minute ago. And he could have been here already. Could have helped his team with this these skills. Two versus three, come on, Jax, jump in there. Yes, going to Oh not going to get the stun off. That sucks. A little bit too early on that. Uh, shouldn't have charged up the stun, I guess. Should have just jumped in first and then used the stun. But yeah, we're going back top lane. So that's how you do this. You should do this, at least. You uh, Oh, and this is, should be an easy fight. He is level 6, Darius is level 5, so Darius doesn't have his most potent weapon there. And yeah, see, he has 60% health remaining, even against Darius. But that's because Darius' main weapon is that ultimate. And yeah, if he doesn't have that ultimate, it's not a whole lot to uh, to fear. So Jax is going to grab all of these minions, losing only one to the to the turret there. And no, just just kill all of them and just go back afterwards. Yeah, he is going to wait for his minions to arrive, and uh, yeah, should probably pick up this wave and then uh, go back. Come on, attack! <laughs> it keeps missing the last hits anyway, so might as well just attack them. Now, yeah, it's really uh, y you need to lose the five versus five mentality on this map because. It is not 5 vs 5. This is not Summoner's Rift. You need to gank here. You need to make sure you ward two spots. That's this spot and this spot. And they need to be warded at all times. And preferably this one with a pink ward. The other one doesn't really matter. The other one is for vision. This one is for control. So if you have the control here. So if you, ha you have vision here but the enemy does not then um, you win the game because you can gank the enemy cannot well they can attempt to gank but they will uh, you will be able to see them coming and if they can't see you coming that is a, a really really big deal Jax is going to push the lane now and there is nobody in top lane to take this uh, this farm for the other team and yeah the difference is that here, if you push the lane, you don't really overextend because you already overextend by just last hitting. Because being in the middle of the lane already puts you so far away from any protective turret fire that, yeah, you really should just ignore the fact that you're pushing the lane. And now he is level 6, but level 6 versus level 8, this is not going to be a close fight. And come on. Yeah, uses using the ghost to keep close to his enemy, and this is such an easy matchup now. It's like top lane in Summoner's Rift, 
but with the exception that in top lane you still shouldn't push the lane and here you should push the lane because you want to deny farm as much as possible no get over here yeah you could see they're running back jumping on top of that come on get the stun off on someone yeah fiddlesticks getting stunned there I think that was his ultimate by the way that he stunned and yeah Jack's not able to tower dive the uh, Caitlyn but he is going to be able to do this yep there we go she came in at too low health and yeah they're going to be able to get this guy as well bye bye Darius come on no not able to f to finish him off yeah he's out of mana so popping a mana potion and a health potion and that sustain is so so important this guy with his uh, uh, regrowth pendant has zero sustain regrowth pendants don't work on their own it's it's something that a lot of people think works but it really doesn't I mean regrowth pendants oh sorry that was the wrong one regrowth pendants give you 15 health per 5 seconds that's 3 health per second one basic attack is 130 damage one leap strike is 173 damage 273 damage sorry so how are you going to heal that up with uh, 3 life per second tell me I mean getting the health potions that's 150 health over 10 seconds so that's 15 health per second that is a lot better sustain and yes I know that's not all the time but it's at least better you you don't need the regrowth pendant uh, regrow uh, health regen when you're full health so it it's only useful when you're low health when when you're not full health because at this point yeah it doesn't matter whether he's a thousand health or a thousand and fifty that doesn't matter what matters is whether you're 500 health or uh, 700 health things like that because that's a big difference so Darius once again using his ultimate at a random position a random uh, time and um, he does have the armor penetration uh, well stack one I think <laughs> Wow! <laughs> going to jump on top of that uh, that poor little fiddlesticks and wow fiddlesticks is so dead <laughs> nicely done by Pantheon of course well finished too by Jax noticing that Fiddlesticks had to back off otherwise he was going to be in the middle of the ultimate and uh, getting the easy kill there but that was definitely due to Pantheon and Pantheon of course yeah can use his ultimate in that way that he just showed there and the stun goes off and come on come on yes oh he, he still had his uh, his ghost left and yeah the thing is uh, the, the ignite not going to finish him off so yeah I would be more afraid of the the heals than the igni ignites to be honest because you either survive or you don't survive it's not like most of the engagements here are really close most of the engagements on a 3v3 are won by because of the ganks so you get into a 1 versus 3 or 2 versus 3 and yeah then it's not close I mean this is not going to be close so even with an ignite they wouldn't have picked up the fiddlesticks and yeah so the heals are a lot more important and yeah it's just the way it is I mean it's the nature of the beast as they call it um, I can't really explain it why there aren't a whole lot of uh, narrow escapes on this map yes there are narrow escapes but just not a whole lot mostly it goes like this like you jump two, two on one or three on one or something like that and someone just dies and they are both still full health and that's how you play this so even though he only has 51 minions he is still by far the most farmed champion in the game minion wise and kill wise uh, he picked up all of the kills after those two from Zinzao uh, 
Pantheon picking up one kill. But that's okay, it's better to have one fat champion than to have two semi-fat champions. Because, um, yeah, this way, as long as you can protect this Jax, everything is going to be fine. And, yeah, just going to own this Caitlyn now. Bye-bye, Caitlyn. <laughs> ah, Caitlyn going to put down a trap, how cute. How cute is that, man? Caitlyn not a good champion on this map, just in case you're wondering. Now it's not that this Caitlyn is, uh, is very bad, it's just that Caitlyn doesn't work on this map. And they're going to just tower dive and then kill the turrets. Yeah, th not even caring that... Uh, <laughs> Jax could have also just attacked the turrets. Doesn't matter. They they are very tanky champions and there's no reason to back off at this p that point. Well, unless there is a minion wave uh, incoming and with a minion wave incoming yeah, you might as well just not take that that uh, damage. Please report Darius. Why? You made a big, big mistake in the early game by keeping three champions bottom lane and not getting anything done with it. That was that was the mistake they made. And here at 15 minutes, I always call it at 15 minutes, uh, or no, I always say that at 15 minutes, you will be able to see who's going to win pretty clearly. And here at 15 minutes. It's 16 to 6, and the enemy team hasn't had a kill in forever. Well, a real kill then. I mean, they probably did get a kill at some point. Oh, getting some damage done, but not following it up with a stun. But <laughs> nice, Caitlyn, ulting him. That is going to result in anything. And is he? He does have a ward, so he can jump over. There we go. Going to do exactly that. And he is going to back off. So the third top uh, lane gets taken out. And by this time, yeah, not all that the enemy team can do. So yeah, this this game, even though most of the games last for about 22-23 minutes, all of the games, except for a very small percentage, are over by the 15 minute mark. Most of them are over by like 12 minutes already so you need to go those early game items and especially if you're behind <laughs> bye bye ulting in and, but yeah that wasn't going to go anywhere but yeah you need to go those really early game items so all of the doors items would be really good but building infinity edge on this map that is just insane that is never going to work and at least Darius gets the points uh, he uh, he built the uh, Rigos Lantern just like Jax Jax has a Hextag Gunblade but he has 15 kills so yeah he can go for those later game more expensive items but Getting five Dorans and Boots is very acceptable on this map. I remember I, I saw one game where Hotshot GG... No, two games where Hotshot GG played this map. Actually, one he was Mundo, one when he was Rice. The Mundo one is actually on my channel. But um, yeah, it's really bad quality, so you might not want to see that. But it's kind of a unique game because there aren't a lot of 3v3 pro matches out. And he wanted to get 2000 ELO on uh, the 3v3s. So he, w he was playing that for like a few days. And then he was 2000 ELO and he uh, just stopped. Because he didn't want to play this anymore. Because it's such a ridiculous, uh, it's such a ridiculous thing to play. And yeah, that's, that's just true. I mean, it is ridiculously unbalanced and... There are some tactics, of course, uh, but he, anyway, uh, getting back to my point, he went Mundo and he bought uh, Boots Level 1, 5 Dorans Shields, uh, and then Boots Level 2, and then they won. And that's just how this game goes, because, yeah, well. Oh, that's a shame. He gets killed. But yeah, that's just how this game works. And if you go, um,. Uh, Five Doors Rings and uh, Sorcerer's Shoes on Rise, for example. Now, Rise would, wouldn't be a good example, but 
Uh, on any AP carry, yeah, rice would you would have to build like mana. So don't go uh, late game items. That's the basic uh, statement here. And yeah, he's just going to be able to to just kill them in turret range. There is nothing that the enemy team can do because that's how this game or uh, how this map works. And they didn't even take a dragon yet. They could have taken out a few dragons. They didn't, however. And uh, dragon is the one thing. Well, dragon and these camps, this one and this one, those are the ones that you need to protect in the in the early game because they give you so much experience and everything. But anyhow, uh, Caitlyn being a whiny little bitch there, just because Darius got a few kills against him doesn't mean that he is a bad player. They just made the mistake of staying bottom lane with three champions when Jax was farming top lane. So Jax was uh, out leveling the Darius by a full level, uh, levels two and three. So they were first two versus one, so level two versus level one. And he dominated him and then they were level two versus level three, he dominated him. And yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do from then on. If you get killed twice, it's over. Same in top lane in on Summoner's Rift, unless you get a gank, but if you don't have a jungler on this map, there are no ganks incoming. No unexpected ganks anyway. So uh, nicely played, very early dominance resulting in a very simple victory. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Chichi.